Hi dear students, welcome to Geeta's classes. Today we are going to see the last unit of uh, COSM, uh, unit 5 in that uh, stochastic process introduction. Now we are going to see only the um, definitions, okay. We are not going to do problems, just what are all the terms you have and just introduction I will give. Uh, next class we will see the problems, right. So stochastic processes and Markov chains. So stochastic means it is a Greek word, uh, the meaning of it is random, random or chance, okay. And analysis, stochastic analysis deals with models which involve uncertainties. You know, so stochastic means random. So whenever there have some, you have some uncertainties or randomness, like probability, right. So a random variable, already we have seen what is a random variable. It is a rule for uh, outcomes of any experiment for every outcome if you assign some number then it is a random variable uh, example we have seen no uh, hh suppose if you have uh, <coughs> uh, if you are tossing two coins hh ht uh, th and tt so we cannot do uh, calculations with these uh, variables so if you want to do some mathematical calculations then we want some numbers so we are assigning you can define the variable x. Here we are assigning some number. Instead of number, if you are assigning some variable, it is a function of t. Uh, uh, generally, it is a random stochastic processes will uh, deal with x of t only. Okay. We are assigning some function of t. Depending on the time, it may change. Right. Then it is called the random process. Right. So random variable is a rule or function that assigns a real number to every outcome of a random experiment. While a random process is a rule or function that assigns a time function. Generally, it is time function to every outcome of a random experiment. That is called the random process. Okay. So, by definition, mathematical definition, a stochastic process is defined as a collection of random variables. That is a sequence of random variables we can say. So, x of t n, where n varies from 1, 2, 3, etc. So, random variable x of t stands for observation at any time t. So, depending at some time, what, what is this time, at this particular time, what will be the value like that, okay. So, and the number of states n may be finite or infinite depending upon the time range. So, for example, if you consider the Poisson distribution, Pn of t, this already we have discussed. Pn of t is equal to e power minus lambda t into lambda t, the whole power n by n factorial. n can take values 1, 2, 3 up to infinity. This is an infinite number of states you have, right. And here the random variable n denotes the number of occurrences between the time interval 0 and t. For example, if you take the uh, number of phone calls coming in the morning from 9 to uh, uh, 5, an office is working. So, 9 o'clock, it will be, there will not be any phone call at uh, time 0. After 1 hour, after 2 hours, like that, it will go on, right? So, it is an example. It uh, follows Poisson distribution means this is an example. So, at particular time, how many values are assigned like that? So, depending on the time, uh, it will vary. So, now Markov definition. Now, stochastic process, this is a particular case of stochastic, for particular model of stochastic process, right? So, stochastic or random system is called Markov process. If the occurrence, one particular condition is satisfied, then it is Markov process. See, the main condition is, suppose if I am in Xn state, and I want to go to the next state x plus uh, x n plus 1. That is at a particular time 10 o'clock I want some value. I am assigning some phone call number of phone calls and 11 o'clock. So if you want to find out 11 o'clock that is x n. The state at particular time is x n. The next state will be at 11 o'clock. Okay x n plus 1. If this x plus 1 depends only on this the previous 10 o'clock value not or at the 9 o'clock value okay so this is x n minus 1 or before that x n minus 2 and so on so if this depends only on this not on the remaining states then it is called the marco process okay it depends only on the previous state that is the definition p of x of t n is equal to x n given that we want the probability of this one at particular state given that the previous one Tn minus 1, x, the previous state and the previous state from initial state to the previous state is equal to, it depends only on this one. That is, we are not bothered about the previous state, right? 
So it is called the Markov process. Then the stochastic process only the same thing. If the probability depends only on the previous state, then it is called the Markov process. You can go through the theory part. That's what it depends only on the probability of the outcome of the preceding experiment. Remember that. So some characteristics of Markov process. Markov analysis is based on the following characteristics. States are both collectively exhaustive and mutually exclusive. What do, you, what do you mean by collectively exhaustive? Suppose if you are throwing a die. So you can have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. So collectively exhaustive means you cannot have uh, number uh, 10 on the die. You cannot expect 10. Okay. So it can take one values only from this range. Whatever is defined only from this range. Not outside this world. Outside this definition. I have, we can define it is from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 only. We are defining the outcome can be like this only. If you, you, if you want to expect 10 or 15, you cannot. You cannot have. Okay. And mutually exclusive. If occurrence of one event excludes the occurrence of. If, the, if you are throwing a die, if you uh, find two, two, all the others cannot come. Only. Uh, so, therefore, the occurrence of 2 and occurrence of 4, they are mutually exclusive. Occurrence of 2 and occurrence of 6, they are also mutually exclusive. When 1 comes, it excludes the occurrence of the other events. That is called uh, mutually exclusive. Okay. So, <clears throat> problem must have finite number of states, none of them absorbing in nature. This we will see when we are doing problem, I will explain that. The transition probabilities are stationary, that is constant values only we can have. The probability of moving from one state to another depends only on the immediate preceding state. Then only it, the definition itself is Markov. Whenever it depends only on the previous state, not on the uh, preceding states. Only the preceding state, not on the all other previous states. Okay, Only on the preceding state. So the transition probabilities of moving to alternative states in the next time period. That is from uh, one point, if you want to move, to, for example... If you are considering, I am in Hyderabad now. From Hyderabad, the person, one, if you are cons considering one person traveling from one, pers one place to another place. So from Hyderabad, either the probability that the particular, for business purposes, people are traveling. No? So some, if you are considering the uh, event like that. So from Hyderabad, the probability that the person is going to Bangalore may be 1 by 3. The probability that he can go to Chennai is 2 by 3. So, only two possibilities. From Hyderabad, either he can go to Chennai or Bangalore. Going to Bangalore is 1 by 3 means definitely this has to be 2, two by 3. Okay. So, these two should be, if you add these two, then it, you should get 1. That's what the transition probabilities of moving to alternative states in the next time period. Now, the state is in Hyderabad. The person is in Hyderabad. This is our at the uh, state n, nth state, he is in Hyderabad. From Hyderabad, he can go to the next state, xn plus 1. This is xn, okay. xn plus 1 may be here or xn plus 1 may be here. So, xn plus 1, if it is Bangalore, the probability that xn, the system is moving from xn to xn plus 1 will be 1 by 3. The probability that the system will go from xn to xn plus 1 to Chennai, this side is 2 by 3. Okay. So, if you add these two, it, sh it should be 1. Total probability should be always 1. Right? That is the meaning. Next is, the process has a set of initial probabilities that may be either given or to be determined. Determined means you will be able to determine the value. Okay. Then, Transition probability. Transition probability means probability that just now we have seen now from Hyderabad to Chennai. What is the probability? They will define. Mathematically, we will have, we are assigned some value. It will be in the matrix form. Okay. So, the probability of moving from one state to another or remaining in the same state. Sometimes they will, so I told, Hyderabad to Chennai or Bangalore. Sometimes he may not go. The next state also, the person will remain in the same uh, place only, Hyderabad. Okay. The next day also he will be there. That means he is remaining in the same state. Okay. During a single time period is called transition probability. Transition means from changes. From one point to another point. What is the change? That is a transition. Okay. 
Yes. And the probability of this, it is called the transition probability. So, for each state, if you find out all the probabilities, if you write in a matrix form, that is called the transition probability matrix. That I will uh, we'll see in the next one. The conditional probability is known as one step uh, transition probability because from one step, that is from xn to xn plus 1 only. One step you are going. So, because it describes the system during the time interval tn minus 1. At tn minus 1, the system will be in the state xn. At tn, uh, or you can write xn minus 1. Here, at tn, the system will be in the state xn. Okay. Since each time a new result occurs, the process is said to have stepped or incremented with one step. Here, n indicates the number of step, steps or increments. So, what is n is equal to 0? Definitely, obviously, it is initial state. So, <clears throat> here, P11, the transition probability matrix means the probability that suppose 1, 2, 3, etc. up to m. Here also 1, 2, 3, etc. up to m. This is from at the stage n and n plus 1. At a particular stage, if the probability is 1, 1, 2 and remaining at 1. This is the probability that the state is uh, remain, uh, it remains in the same state only. Suppose from state 1 to state 2, if you want to move, that is P12. 1 to m, that is probability that the uh, system is moving from the state 1 to state m and so on. Okay. So, this is the, these are the values. Probability that the system moves from one state to another state. So, diagrammatic representation of transition probabilities, I will give you an example. It shows the transition probabilities are shifts that can occur in any particular situation. I will give you an example. <coughs> Here you have E1 and E2, E3. There are three uh, states, E1, E2, E3. From E1 to E2, there is the probability is 1. That is from moving from E1 to E2. That is from state n to n plus 1. From this position to this position. Probability that from E1 to E2 is 1. And E2 to E2. That means remaining in the same position. That is 1 by 2. Or it can move to A3. That is 1 by 2. That's what. Here it is 1. E1 to E2, you can go. The probability is 1. From E2, they can remain the same or you can move to the next uh, stage, E by E3. The probability here is stay, remaining in the same state is 2 by 3. And here, what, will, what should be here? Either from E3, <clears throat> you can remain in the same state, that is 2 by 3. Therefore, definitely it has to be 1 by 3. Right? So, the arrows from each state indicate <clears throat> the possible states to which a process can move from the given state. The matrix of transition. Now, I will write the matrix. How will you write the matrix? P is equal to here E1, E2, E3. And here again you write E1, E2, E3. Right. So, from E1 to E1, is there any possibility? No, you cannot move. Therefore, 0, right? From E1 to E2, what is the probability that the state can be changed from E1 to E2? It is 1. Here it is 1. Probability that uh, the state, <coughs> it can move from the state n to n plus 1. Then E1 to E3, there is no possibility. So, 0, right? E2 to E1, E2 to E1, yeah, there is nothing. So, 0. You cannot move from E2 to E1. E2 to E2, you can remain in the same state. That is 1 by 2. E2 to E3, it is 1 by 2. Right? And here, E3 to E3, you can remain in the uh, stay, same e, Sorry, E3 to E1, it is 1 by 3. E3 to E2, there is no possibility. So, 0. 0. So, E3 to E3, yes, there is a possibility. What is the probability? 2 by 3. That is, remaining in the same state is 2 by 3, right? So, a 0 element indicates that there is transition is not possible from E1 to E2, 1. So, if you now, you have to observe that this is a TPM. TPM means transition probability matrix, okay? 
and always remember rho wise if you add everything it is 1 that is the total probability similarly 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 1 here third row 1 by 3 plus 2 by 3 it is 1 okay so these are the total probabilities right and this one only will give a give the full uh, details of from this you can see the transition matrix is a square matrix uh, square stochastic matrix and it gives complete description of the markov uh, process it will give full description of the markov process so if you know the tpm we can uh, find out the markov process okay and we will see uh, problems this is just introduction and even the theory part uh, can be asked the definitions can be asked for two marks that's why i have given all the definitions please uh, go through that and we will see more problems in the next class thank you so much for listening